and what percentage of your rocket is propellant. Your full flow engine is the... SpaceX is a leader in terms of technological advancement in space exploration. The rockets conceived and constructed by this company are the most advanced in the world. They can send payloads into orbit and reuse those rockets several times. And unusually for the aerospace industry, the engineers at SpaceX created a rocket recovery mechanism to reuse the first-stage booster of the two-stage Falcon 9 rocket. So, which engines power these powerful rockets, and what does Elon Musk have to say about it? Welcome to the Tesla News Hangout. Today, we will examine how Elon Musk explained SpaceX Merlin engine. So stay tuned as we look into this. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket is the operational rocket with the most launches in the United States, with 169 missions completed. 123 of SpaceX's Orbital Class Falcon 9 first-stage rockets have been safely recovered and reused by the company, and as of now, the boosters of SpaceX's Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket have been reused 12 times. Currently, the Falcon 9 rocket is the only American launch vehicle capable of transporting people and cargo to the International Space Station. Since the company's very first crewed mission in 2020, SpaceX has successfully sent 26 people into space. Using a combination of rocket-grade kerosene, RP-1, and liquid oxygen, the 229-foot-tall Merlin 1D engines of the Falcon 9 provide the vehicle's propulsion. It has a push greater than 1.7 million pounds when ready to take off. The rocket's second stage, also known as the upper stage, can lift 25 tons into low Earth orbit thanks to its single Merlin engine. When operating under zero gravity, the Merlin can produce over 1.8 million pounds of thrust. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, recently had a conversation with YouTuber Tim Dodd, also known as Everyday Astronaut, regarding the Falcon 9 Merlin engines used by the firm. It is commonly known that video clips from the scientific communicator make complex topics such as rocket science more understandable to the general public. He uses in-depth educational movies to clarify difficult concepts related to rocket science. Musk has expressed his admiration for Dodd's work several times and has given numerous invitations to him for in-depth one-on-one conversations at SpaceX. Falcon 9 is powered by Merlin engines while maintaining the structural and thermal safety limits necessary to launch humans into space. It has the highest thrust-to-weight ratio of any boost engine that has ever been designed. Rocket propellants are RP-1 and liquid oxygen combined in this gas generator power cycle. The Merlin engine was supposed to be able to be salvaged and used again while it was out at sea when it was first designed. The rocket's propellants are supplied by a turbopump that consists of a single shaft and two impellers. The low-pressure fluid first fed into the turbopump is reused to create high-pressure fluid for the actuators. Because there is no demand for a separate hydraulic drive system, there is no possibility that the thrust vectoring control could ever fail as a result of a shortage of hydraulic fluid. The Falcon 9 rocket comprises a total of 10 Merlin engines nine of which are placed in the first stage and one of which is positioned in the second stage. The Falcon Heavy, on the other hand, is equipped with a total of 28 engines, nine in each of the two side boosters, for a sum of 18 altogether, and 10 in the main rocket itself. But how has the Merlin engine progressed throughout its history? Currently, Merlin engines, a component of the company's family of two-stage engines, are now being used to power SpaceX's Falcon rockets and the Dragon spacecraft. There have been production runs of engines designated as Merlin 1A, Merlin 1B, Merlin 1C, and Merlin 1D so let's take a look at them. Merlin 1A, the first Merlin engine had several groundbreaking innovations, including an expendable ablatively cooled carbon fiber reinforced polymer composite nozzle. It also had a relatively cheap cost, coming in at just a few million dollars. Additionally, it provided a thrust of 340 kN, 77,000 pound. But when this engine took to the air for the first time, it had a few teething problems. The dates were March 24 in 2006 and March 21 in 2007. The first attempt resulted in a fire and a fuel leak shortly after launch, but the second attempt, connected to a Falcon 1 rocket, was successful. Merlin 1B, the second engine, the Merlin 1B, was designed specifically for the Falcon 1 launch vehicle. It has a specific impulse of 261 seconds while operating at sea level and 303 seconds when operating in a vacuum. At sea level, it can produce a thrust of 380 kN, 85,000 lbf. But in a vacuum, 
it can produce 420 kN, 95,000 pounds. Additionally, after the torch ignition in 1A, it proceeded to the pyrophoric ignition, but in light of the preliminary testing results, SpaceX decided to abandon the Merlin 1B and instead focus its efforts on developing the Merlin 1C. Merlin 1C. According to Space Flight Now, the engine of the Falcon 1 was the first liquid-fueled rocket to enter orbit utilizing a turbopump created for the Merlin 1B by Barber Nichols. This turbopump was used in the regeneratively cooled engine of Falcon 1. In 2007, the engine was successfully started for the first time, and in 2008, it completed its first successful flight. Following a string of failures, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk praised the company's fourth flight as freaking great in an interview with a publication. This engine was used to power the nine-engine Octav attached to the Falcon 9 rocket. During the flight, the Falcon 9 can shut down as many as two of its nine first-stage Merlin engines without jeopardizing its ability to complete its mission without incident. SpaceX claims that the Falcon 9 is the only launch vehicle in its class with this essential reliability trait. The engine was modified to work in the vacuum of space by adding a massive exhaust section and an expansion nozzle to the vacuum version. This allowed for the efficiency of the engine to be preserved. Merlin 1D, the engine was developed in 2012 and went through its first round of flight tests in 2013. Its vacuum-specific impulse, ISB, is 310 seconds, and its enhanced expansion ratio is 16. Its vacuum thrust is 690 kilonewtons, 155,000 pounds, and its enhanced expansion ratio is 16. Additionally, the launch vehicle known as the Falcon 9 was fitted with it. The current pace of production is 8 engines per month. However, it is anticipated that this number will increase to 400 engines per year. It is claimed by SpaceX that the Merlin engines that will be used to drive the Falcon Heavy into orbit will improve its performance by a factor of 2, making it the most powerful operational rocket in the world. And with such a robust set of engines, how are SpaceX's rocket ships now performing? Well, Elon Musk's SpaceX has a lot of ambitious plans to satisfy the demands of many partner firms and organizations throughout the world today. There are a lot of planned space missions for the future, and Elon Musk has a lot of ambitious ambitions for SpaceX from orbital missions to expeditions to the Moon and Mars. SpaceX plans to participate in all of these upcoming endeavors in some capacity. One of the many projects the company is working on is sending over a thousand starships to Mars, which is just one of the many things Elon Musk stated would happen in the future. Its primary mission will be to transport people to other planets as part of the Polaris program, with Mars serving as the first stop on their journey. Falcon 9 will continue to exist even when Starship and its Raptor become the principal spacecraft used by the business. However, SpaceX will use it far less frequently than it does now. But in the meantime, Elon Musk appears to take great delight in the new rocket engines that he and his team have constructed. At the end of April, Elon Musk posted about a batch of the brand new Raptor 2 engines to the public at the Starbase facility that SpaceX operates in Texas. In the latter part of this year, the Starship Megarocket will make its maiden voyage into space, and these engines will power it. The Raptor 2 rocket engines at Starbase, which each produce more than half a million pounds of force, have been declared operational by Elon Musk in a statement posted on Twitter on April 26, and as a result of Musk's photo displaying what seemed to be more than a dozen of the new engines, we are left with no choice but to speculate just how far Elon is prepared to take the rocket engine technology. But what do you think about the SpaceX engines, and how far do you think the technology will go? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel Tesla News Hangout where we talk about Elon Musk, Tesla, and SpaceX while you're at it. Hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos, as more exciting ones like this are on the way. I'll see you at the next one.